Hey there Jet Boosters, Nelson here with another Jet Boost tutorial. Now this one's all about real-time search. Now let me go to my screen and show you what I mean. All right, now uh, in Webflow you can add a search function, a site search function inside of your pages, right? And when someone searches, they can type it in, click on search, and it'll take them to a search results page. But what if you want something a little bit faster, like, for example, kind of like Google, where as you're typing, results will show up immediately? Well, in Webflow, you can't do that, but with this Jet Boost, you can. So let's go ahead and get started. First things first, go to Jet Boost and go to your dashboard and look for the site you need to add the booster to. Click on Add Booster, Real-Time Search, Create. And now which collection do you want this search to search through? Blog posts, I'm choosing blog posts. And which fields do you want the uh, filter to search through? I'm gonna say um, blog post um, and then the name. And you can choose as many as you want. I'm just gonna choose those two for now. And as far as how should the search look, so are you doing exact or flexible? So exact is all about like the exact words that are in that search term, or can it be a little bit flexible where some of the words are in the search term? So I'm gonna set, set it to flexible. And lastly, I'm gonna set this search query to the URL. Use that as yes. I strongly recommend this because it's easier to send a, a direct search to your social media or your emails or what have you. And so when someone clicks on that link, that exact search will show up on their screen. All right, press continue. And we got our first check. All right, next, let's go ahead and copy this code and go to our custom code area by clicking on that link. And we're going to paste it in here once it loads. There we go, paste, save changes and publish. Now, what this does, it uh, this code is connecting your Webflow project to your Webflow account, or sorry, your JetBoost account. So make sure you do not change anything. Just paste it, save it, and publish it, all right? Save and continue. We're good to go. Now for the collection list, let's go ahead and copy this class name and go to collection list wrapper and paste that class name in. All right, so don't change this name. This is what JetBoost is looking for to connect your filter or your con collection list to the filter to your um, web, uh, JetBoost account, all right? So don't change that. Next, we're gonna copy this line of code and go into our collection item. So it's usually the third, it's usually the third element. All right, and then we're going to press Control or Command E and type in embed. All right, press return, paste that in there, save and close, and publish. All right, let that happen, let that happen, and test and continue. Cool, and we're done. So let's go ahead and uh, do the last part, okay? So let's go ahead and copy this, all right? So copy this class name, and let's go ahead and go to back to our project. And we're, what we're gonna do is drag in a form block. I'm gonna put that wherever I want. I'm gonna put it right here. And I'm going to delete my label, delete that, delete that. And I'm also gonna delete this button. So just this right here this text field, um, I can go ahead and add the class name that we've we've uh, copied from JetBoost and paste it in here. And I'm gonna press publish. And once that's done, we can go ahead and test it. All right, test and continue. And, but da there we go, confetti everywhere. Let's go ahead and finish up by naming our booster by double clicking this and say uh, real time search. Click outside of that text box and go to my staging site. And now let's look for, let's look for something. Let's look for a web design. So I'm gonna type in web design and there we go. 
all the blog posts with web design in it is there. Let's go look for the word process. There we go. Only one has the word process. If I do the number 14, 14 common, right? Let's use the word common, all right? So only that one. If I delete it, all of them show up. So real-time search inside of Webflow with this JetBoost. Really, really cool. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Have fun with this new booster, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.